So um, this is on your last test. And so I was going to show you some of my work here and see if um, these last, as for these last questions. So um, we went over the reaction here is increased in pressure and it remains unchanged. Number 54, which of the following would not cause the reaction, this long reaction to shift to the right? So if we allowed the hydrogen here to escape, so it's going to get lower on the, as of this side, this is going to decrease, so we're going to need, it would shift to the right. So if we decrease the concentration of this here, this is another decreased con concentration, it's going to, to make, to make the difference, it's going to shift to the right. So if you increase the concentration on this side, so you're increasing the concentration on this side on the reactant, of course the reactant's going to have more again, it's going to shift to the right to get rid of that concentration. So, so far, but D says increasing the pressure of the reaction chamber, um, of, of the reaction. So um, increasing the pressure doesn't change it to the right or left. So that's going to be your answer. Okay, number 55. Write the equi equilibrium co um, constant ex expression for the reaction. So here we have our um, equation here. So constant, as you we called, you're going to take basically take the the products here on this side and put it as the numerator, and then you're going to put <coughs> reactants as a denominator. But as long as they have no solids in them, these are all gases, so we can do this. So here we go over here. We're going to put NOBr, and then there's two of them there. There's two moles, so this is going to be our exponent. So NOBr with these brackets around, and then you're going to put um, the exponent 2 there. And then you're going to take this over here, um, NO, so we put NO here, and there's 2. So you're going to put 2 as the exponent. And here you have um, um, BR2, so you're going to put BR, but there's no, there's, no, um, there's no coefficient in front of that, so you're just going to put BR2. So here's going to be the formula, okay? So number 56, write the equilibrium constant expression for the rea um, reaction. And here is the, see, I'm going to pull it back so you can see it. So here is our equation you have it here. So now we're going to do the same thing as we did in um, 55. So we're going to take um, these, these over here. Now, if they're, if they're liquids, like a liquid, or if they're a gas, we're going to forget about them and not put them in our equation, okay? So here we have this liquid, so we're not going to count the H2O liquid, but we're going to count the gas and the aqueous. So we put down um, calcium chloride, we put calcium chloride. There's no coefficient, so we don't need to put anything there. So calcium chloride, K is calcium chloride, we put that Cl2, and then we have CO2, um, carbon dioxide here, we're going to take this, put that there. There's no coefficient, so we just put CO2. So we have that times that. And then we're going to put, um, you know, basically look over here. Um, calcium uh, carbonate here is a solid. We never count solids and we never count liquids, so we're not going to put that in there. So we're going to put in HCl. So we put HCl there, but we have a coefficient there, so we need to put that as an exponent. So this here is going to be our answer for that. So let's go on to the next one. Sorry, I'm kind of moving around a bit. Number 57, write the solubility, solubility product expression for aluminum. So kind of like, okay, here we go. KSP is the solubility. So we're going to take um, aluminum hydroxide. Aluminum hydroxide, so is aluminum Al. 3OH3, so aluminum hydroxide. So um, I'm not sure about this one, so um, you can look that up. I don't know why I put that there. So anyway, aluminum, hy aluminum hydroxide. You can look that up on Google if you want or something. Number 58. The soluble product of AgCO3 
is um, 8.1 times 10 to the negative 12, okay? So, um, and then um, basically is 1.5, 10 to the negative four moles for solution of AgCO3 saturated. So when you look at this, which one is more? So this is saturated. This one's saturated here at negative 12, and this is a negative four. So um, AgCO3 negative four is uh, less I mean, is more than negative 12, right? So this one is gonna be more. So, sorry, it's kinda. Of... So basically the solubular product is um, of which solution, one is, um, is saturated, which one's saturated more? Um, which one's unsaturated or supersaturated? So the solubular product of this you want to know if this is saturated or unsaturated. So if it's if the product is this and it's less, um, and this is more, it's going to be super saturated. It's going to be above saturated, right? I hope you can see that. Put it so you can see it better. So this, the solubility of this is 8.1 times 10 to the negative 2. The solubility solution of the um, is of uh, this is going to be 1.5 times 10, 10 to the negative fourth, which means this is this is the this is the saturated amount, you know, right? And um, it's going to be saturated more than than the, this, so it's going to be super saturated. Anyway, hope you could figure that out. All right. Okay, these are the problems here. For the reaction, and here's your reaction here, um, equilibrium concentrations are, and you have basically um, are, these are, the pro these are the plugging in. So what I did here is I wrote, wrote out the problem here Taking this here, K equals, okay, so you see this? So K equals, and you're going to see H3OH because you're going to take this over here and put it on the numerator. And you're going to take this CO gas and this gas, make sure they're all gases so we can put them all in. And this is going to be our K. And then we're going to fill in the blanks. And so, um, basically, CO is 0 0.03. We're just going to fill them in, substitute them in for the numbers. The CO is 0 .2, um, 0 0.02. And then the um, this is H2. Why is that H2? Because we have 2, the coefficient here. So we, we're going to have a, um, we're going to have an exponent square. And so we end up having the H being 0 0.72 square. So just get on your calculator and do this. 0 0.030 meters divided by first multiply. First, first thing you're gonna do is do the exponent first. So take this and square it first, then times it by that. You know, then you then you're going to divide this by that. So um, and they want it to two sig figs. So I got 290, but go ahead and do this in the calculator, see if you get that. So it's just basically doing the K, which is the numerator, um, is going to be this over here. And this is the denominator, but you have a two there for the exponent of hydrogen. So this last one, okay. Nitrogen and oxygen react accordingly to the equation. So here we have um, at 15 K, you're gonna do the filling in the blank thing again. So let's take this and we'll make the, the whole uh, product is um, two NO, so you're gonna NO square, and then you're going to put in um, N gas here too, and the O2. So then you're gonna fill in the blanks. So you're gonna, basically what I did is I put NO2 square, 
and you put this in, you're going to find the square root. Well, anyway, you need a scientific calculator to find the square root, so I hope you do have that. But that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, there we go. I can turn it off here.